So we're going to do a, uh, a little quick vlog. Um, this is the second day in, um, on the continent, that is. So um, the, there's actually quite a lot to, to talk about, um, but don't worry, it's going to be brief. First day was insane. So I can't remember if I spoke about this in another... I don't think so. So I got the, the train from um, a local station to Blackburn. I think that was the only train that was on time. And then when I got to Blackburn... Um, the inevitable happened and I had a delayed train to Bolton and from Bolton I was going to catch a two trains, two connections on one ticket but with different um, companies Northern and uh, Avanti from um, to Wigan North Western, Wigan North Western direct to London Euston not, not direct, a few stops but uh, pretty much high speed and then from Euston which is adjacent to King's Cross and St Pancras International I then had to run for the very last train of the night at 12 minutes past midnight to to get the train to um, Ashford and Ashford to Dover to then get my ferry a few hours later to Dunkirk, right? So the train at Blackburn was delayed and I calculated that the time that they gave wasn't going to allow me to catch the connection. So I opted to go to the next um, platform because there was one to Preston and from Preston I could have got to Bolton and still made it in time. And... Um, and then basically like uh, what happened was it, it kept changing back and forth and in the end I got that original train um, and it did allow me to get to, to Bolton in time and from Bolton there was a slight delay but got to Wigan Northwestern but then the Avanti high speed was delayed and I didn't realise I'd been so lucky so I bought all these tickets I spent all this money and um, basically the entire line had been dead for the whole day for 24 hours so Wigan had a severe uh, electrical blow up essentially uh, and every single train had been cancelled until my train my train was the first one i didn't realize this until after all these events happened so that was delayed by like 20 minutes but of course i only had like a 32 minute connection because that was going to get me into houston at 11 40 um, and that meant that there was only 32 minutes total which was ample time if it was on time to get to, to king's cross st pancras which was adjacent to it um so avanti's the only line so I, bike just fell down um just fucking so avanti is the only line where you have to book your um bike in and this fucking guy comes up to me so basically no one was there to check my bike in even though they insist i put my bike in myself with the help of the conductor at wigan northwestern and um and yeah i just strapped it in and i sat in the carriage adjacent to it didn't realize there was a security door and this guy comes up to me the actual conductor one conductor on the avanti train um, for this uh, late night train and he comes up to me and says oh by the way mate um, I, uh, I want to go home early and I really need to catch that last train to Milton Keynes so it'd be alright if I just leave the door open and you can take your bike yourself which I was fine with anyway because uh, I obviously needed to make this, this connection now with literally maybe sub 15 minutes which is on the bounds of missing the, the journey so we pull into Euston I'm there go up to the security got door 10 minutes early locked couldn't get in to get my bike so I ran up the train but of course it's a commuter train so there's all these people narrow corridors I couldn't get through saw the conductor's booth empty doors open the guy had basically gone to the very first carriage 10 minutes before his shift and pissed off the moment um, the train arrived this is job man. it's unbelievable so no one else on the train I, I get out and I'm fucking running up the platform and it's a huge platform and the bikes are at the very last end of the platform they're not at the front where the um, the entrance and exit is to Euston um, so I'm screaming I'm like, Fuck, where's my bike, you bastards? Uh, get me my bike, all this kind of stuff. And uh, eventually there's one guy on the entire platform for both um, for both lines, and he happened to be a Vanti, and as slow as possible, he walked to the very end of the line from the first train, and there were 11 wagons, so calculate that. We arrived at 10 to, that gave me 22 minutes in total uh, from if, you know, that there wasn't this issue. And now we have this issue, four or five minutes have elapsed already. Then he takes five minutes to walk there, so that gives me 12 minutes. I go in, rip the rope off my bike, and I'm just running down Euston as fast as I can with this bloody heavy bike and um, get outside and everything falls apart. The fucking front thing falls apart, the mirror falls off because I've basically been just dragging it and hogging it through all kinds of corners and stuff. And these people try to help me and I was just like, look, I need to get to the train. I had like six, seven minutes by this point and I just ran with this bike all the way to Euston, got in, 
getting up the escalator, everything again is still falling off. There's just a guy looking at me in a fucking stupid, like, um, retarded, just dipsy little um, night man who checks your ticket to the gate. He's just looking at me, I'm like, help me, help me, get myself, he just doesn't do anything. He literally looks straight at me like four minutes away. And then I managed to get on the train in time, doors closed with one minute left. Um, and I had a conversation with the conductor, I was dripping by this point. The conversation with the conductor was so nice on the southeastern train all the way to Ashford and then on from Ashford to Dover Priory. Then I got my bike out and the first time I went to ride it, the chain slipped off like four or five times and it's still not great now because of the weight on the back, now, which I've changed slightly, I've modified it now. So that was that. Um, I, had to see, I cycled in the end all the way to the, the ferry station and waited for a while and um, yeah, I had like 20 quid left in English cash so I just bought loads of overpriced, as you can imagine, um, unhealthy snacks because that's all that's on offer from um, WH Smith and yeah made my boat had one and a half hours sleep on the boat um, there's a really stupid system on the boat where they're like oh yeah you you're, you have to ride it up the platform which is really steep it's probably the, the greatest incline I've had thus far and I'm already about almost 100 k's into Belgium um, and I was just like no I'm going to walk it she's like we're not allowed to do that I said well what are you going to do about it so yeah I walked the bike up and then, um, yeah, got off, so, and then I actually utilised my original plan because I haven't had time to actually um, plan a route as such, but um, I did manage to, 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 to pitch a, a way for the first um, 50Ks, which is what I anticipated um, being able to do, even though you should be doing 100, and I could easily do 100, but I'm, you know, I just got up this morning again at 9am, 10am, rather than 6am. I could easily do 100 with this weight. So the first day, direct to, from Dunkirk Ferry Terminal to the campsite I was at, it's actually 50 k's um, exactly, um, but because uh, I went you know, down the nicer roads off the highway, it was about 60 to 64 k's. And now I set off at 9 a.m., campsite ripped me off, it said literally 5 to 7 euros, 5 euros for a single tent on their website, charged me 14.50 to pitch on the grass with no electricity. Um, so I'm going to get one star review there. And then um, got up at 9 a.m. It's been really nice though. Like the, the this area of France and Belgium, the um, yeah, the, the the roads are so flat and there's cycleways everywhere. Um, so yeah, got up um, got up at nine. I got up at like 8:30. Yeah, did everything, changed, altered the bike a bit. Um, set off actually at 10:05. Quite late, but I just want to make sure everything's fine. And yeah, it's been pretty smooth thus far. I uh, stopped at the supermarket and uh, I'm going to try and get past Lille today. Um, so yeah, I should probably stop doing this. It's 12.05. It's a good time to stop. And yeah, that's, I guess, what's happening so far. Um, the bike's definitely cheap, but it's doing its job thus far. Um, yeah, cool.